Hello my friends, today I want to talk about ambient guitar chords. Many of you asked me to talk about my way of playing guitar, so let's talk about it. If you're watching this video you probably have the basic skills to play guitar. You know the basic guitar chords, right? For example C, D, A, O, G. So these are the first chords you learn when you start to play guitar. Let's play for example a C chord. This is probably the first chord you learn when you start to play guitar. This chord is made up of these notes. We've got the C on the 5th string that is the root note E on the 2nd fret of the 4th string that is the measure 3rd G on the 3rd string we've got another C one octave up and the last is E on the open 1st string this is an octave higher than this one. Ok, as you know we can play this chord with the bar position at the 3rd fret. This is very simple. We've got here the C note G, C an octave higher, and E on the 5th fret of the 2nd string. When you play a classic ambient chord on guitar, you must remove these fingers from the chord. You are removing the G and C. Only the measure third remains. So we can play these chords in this new way. Remember the chords are C, D minor, E minor, F and G. So the chords now are When you play a C chord in this other shape at the 8th fret we can remove the G and the C and leave only the bass C note and the measure 3rd So if the chord is minor, the shape is this. This way of playing chords can open an infinite door of sonic possibilities, especially when you add reverb and delay on your guitar. So let's talk about this simple pedal board. I'm using a Sonic Cake Octaver, a Flashback 2 from TC Electronic, a Loop Station from Boss, and a Stereo Big Reverb from Zucat Pedals. All these pedals are connected in stereo. So you can play these notes with fingers. Or you can use the pick. In this case you must not play all the other strings, you have to mute all the other strings because only these two notes are the notes you have to play. You can make swells with the volume pedal or with the volume knob of the guitar, in this way. Well, 
my friends, in the past I've used to play a lot with this technique. The truth is that maybe I think it's too classic for me. I prefer to divide this couple of notes using the volume swells. So for example, let's play a C chord as I've told you. We've got the C and the E. All I do is divide this chord, recording with the looper first the high note, in this case the E, with the volume swell this way, and then overdubbing the bass note using an octave effect this way. So, for example, we can try this simple chord progression C, D minor, A minor, and G. This is a simple chord progression. We can add the delay and the reverb. It sounds like this. If you play this chord progression in this way, it's beautiful, very touching and emotional. But maybe it's a little too easy. Let's try it this other way, dividing the chords. First, we can record the loop with the high notes. Ok folks, now we can overdub the bass notes using the octave. Ok, as you can hear this way, the chord progression is more atmospheric, there's more ambience in the sound. So let's try to overdub the chords in other shapes.
my friends, that's it. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about in the comments below. Remember to support my channel, subscribe and click on the bell. See you in the next clip. Bye bye.